Ladies and gentlemen, let's Game and Set a Com video. There's good news. The GTX 980 is getting closer to launch. Now, it's supposedly going to be launched in September, and it's going to be the full, full GM200 experience. So, if you're not thinking, hey, you know what, the GTX 980 is enough, and you're not really fancying the R9 390X, for example, and you want to stick with NVIDIA, then, well, you've got the 980 Ti, which, as I said, supposedly is going to be September. So, what do we have here? Well, it's pretty much an amalgamation of the Titan X and the GTX 980 specs, with the VRAM between the two. So, here it is. You've got 3072 CUDA cores, 192 texture units, and 96 ROPs. Exactly the same as the Titan X specs. The difference is it has the core clock of the 980, so in other words, 1216, um, assuming the boost clock. And it has 6 gigs of RAM rather than either the 12 of the Titan X or the 4 of the 980. In terms of memory bandwidth and everything else, it's identical and has the same TDP as the Titan X. So you can basically say that this is a Titan X, but... With lower price point, it's going to be about $300 cheaper-ish. And also, less RAM and slightly higher clocks. So, in short, it's probably for gamers, especially unless you're going with absolute ludicrous resolutions, like, I don't know, 4K dual monitors or something like that. Or, I, that was a really crappy example, wasn't it? <laughs> that, that was pretty much like f f falling on your feet, but whatever. So, yeah. So, unless you're playing like ridiculous resolutions and you're going to need more VRAM than, you know, most people have main system memory, you're probably going to be better off with the 980 Ti, at least according to the rumours. The problem is, if it is September, you're... I, well... <laughs> I guess it depends on how well the 390X does. See, here's the thing. In terms of the GPU market right now, and the reason that I'm advocating waiting to anyone who's asking me what the hell do I buy, it's because it's a really screwed up market. Because AMD are supposedly holding... I mean, they've not told me this, but this is just what the rumor is and the rumor mill. They're basically trying to get rid of the 200 series parts, and they're doing so by making the parts really cheap. And it's very difficult not to recommend those parts for people who need a GPU right now, particularly if you're only gaming at like 1080p, because the GPUs are just so bloody cheap. You can get like a 290X, at least in the UK, for cheaper than you can get the GTX 970. And when you consider the, you know, you're getting a full 4 gigs of RAM and all of that crap, it's a really good deal. But, the problem is, of course, for people who want more, if you're gaming at 4K, it's also very difficult to recommend the 980 if you've got a really high-end GPU setup. Let's just, for example, say that you're owner of a 780 Ti, or maybe even the 780. Yes, of course, you're going to see faster results if you move to the 980. But is it really going to be, you know, that much faster, particularly because of DirectX 12? And everyone knows that DirectX 12 is, you know, that little figure in the distance that's waving, a, hello, I'm, I'm DirectX 12, and you're going to really, really appreciate my games when we come out. Uh, and we all know that there's going to be some differences. The problem is, with the GCN architecture, DirectX 12, well, should I say DirectX 12, on both GPUs is going to make quite a bit of difference because in some tests, and once again these are synthetic tests, NVIDIA's GPUs kick butt. In other tests, like the draw call tests, AMD's GPUs kicked butt. And to add complexity, we know that, for example, the GCN architecture can support G asynchronous shading, which, if you believe AMD, is going to be super important. And NVIDIA aren't really saying anything on this one. And of course, None of the benchmarking companies are going to mention anything. And how it's going to really impact, like, and by which I mean, of course, games in the year's time, it's it's a bit difficult to say. So, what I'm basically saying, I've said many different words. The bottom line is, if the 390X is to be believed, if the, if the rumoured specifications is to be believed, it's going to be slightly faster 
than the current Titan X, at least according to the rumours. Uh, once again, how accurate those rumours are, you and I can guess all day. We can, you know, go over the specifications and we can kind of say, well, 50% here, 10% there. But supposedly it outperforms the 290X by 50 to 60%. Once again, however, I'd like to know more. Like, first of all, what are all the benchmarks? What was the test system? What was the mysterious GPU? Because the, that was how we know a lot of this stuff. It was a mysterious GPU that was running um, a GDC, but what version of the drivers and blah, blah, blah. And there are some benchmarks that are going around, but the validity of those benchmarks, I don't know. So let's assume that they're fairly accurate just for the sake of argument because, well, we've got to have a basis if we're going to assume some stuff. So let's just, for the sake of argument, assume that they're accurate. That would mean that the GTX 980 Ti could conceivably be about as fast as the R9 390X, maybe slightly slower. So in which case, it's possible that the 390X could be more expensive. It could be that it requires more TDP or runs at a higher TDP, if I can bloody pronounce the three-letter word. Uh, our acronym to be more precise and so on and so forth so it's going to be an interesting part of the market the main concern for many is we've got Volta and other architectures which are going to be popping out soon and we know that Nvidia are also going to be moving to the HBM flagship so what I'd probably suggest and this is just me throwing out ideas if you're like hey should I wait for the 980 tie like should i do that or should i just jump on the 390 x bandwagon or what have you i would really say to be honest that a depends on your budget and b resolution and c like what do you actually care about for example if you're just gaming on let's say 1080p 60 fps then pretty much any gpu currently unless the game is really poorly optimized is going to be absolutely fine if you're 1440p or above then yeah, you're probably going to want an R9 290X as kind of like your starting point, or a GTX 980, something like that. But if you're going 4K, and you're buying into the future, then it becomes a lot trickier. And obviously, it's all about your budget as well. I, I, I think we're going to know considerably more when more games are utilizing Vulkan, and a lot more games are going to be, of course, utilizing DirectX 12. But obviously, buying six months into the future is pretty much impossible anyway. So, the best option, I would say, for anyone who's kind of wondering about the performance of the night of the 980 Ti versus the, um, the 390X, wait for the 390X to pop out. It shouldn't be long, because I did cover a video yesterday that showed that the 390 supposedly was pictured. There are pictures of it floating about. You can check out on the website. I'll try to remember to link it in the video description. If not, you can check it out on the channel. It was just a video that was popped up yesterday, so you can just search for it. And, you know, those images are about. We've also heard that the 370 is rumored to be released mid to late this month. So if that's accurate, and NVIDIA supposedly are producing this GPU for the release date, you know, so they've actually got something to counter AMD with because obviously they don't want AMD to have a flagship that's like 30% faster, obviously just throwing out numbers than their current flagship because that's not good for business. Anyway, I've said a lot of words considering uh, that there wasn't actually, yeah, this, this video could turn out to be a lot longer than what I originally anticipated. But anyway, Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. It's been a bit of a, a rambly one, but still. It's it's a good way for me to com communicate to you, my friends. Anyway, that sounded a bit creepy. I'm going to leave now before you, know, you call the cops on me or something. But hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.